Hey guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to use the lat pull down machine. All right, so we're gonna be learning how to use the lat pull down machine if you've never used it in your gym. It actually tends to be the most popular machine in the gym. Every time I try to use it, everybody's on it because it does really great stuff. So the lat pull down uses other muscles along with the latissimus dorsi for assistance. As you pull the bar to your chest, you work the rhomboids, both major and minor, which are responsible for the scapular or shoulder blade retraction. The trapezius, lower and middle, also gives the scapula pull down and it actually helps move the arms up and down. The teres major, teres minor, and other major and other muscles in the shoulders are also getting a workout. So you're really kind of hitting everything in that whole back complex with just this machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through three of the most popular grips that you're going to want to use when working your back. So the first thing you do when you get to the machine, you want to just make sure that the pads here are set to where you feel like you're securely in to where when you're releasing up, you're not gonna come out of the machine at all. So you wanna just make sure those are securely set. You wanna be at a good weight for yourself, nothing too heavy, but you want to use some weight so you feel like you're getting a workout. So with the wide grip, a lot of these bars are a little too wide for women. Like there's no way I would ever grip out here. So I always just find kind of a comfortable grip for myself, which is usually about here because we're just, we don't have that wingspan. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to that. We're gonna carry the bar down with us as we're sitting. Once I get into my seated position, I'm gonna think about keeping my chest and head up straight. My abs are engaged. I have a good grip on the bar and I'm just gonna bring this down right to my chest level. I'm not going to go and carry this back here. Sometimes you'll see people at the gym, they're leaning way back like this is going to target it. No, it's not. It's going to hurt your neck too. So I'm sitting straight up. I'm just bringing this right down to my chest. I'm thinking about bringing my shoulder blades together and then I'm totally releasing and relaxing at the top. Full range of motion. I'm here. I'm thinking about squeezing my shoulder blades together up and resting and back down. Shoulder blades are together. So this is great because what are we doing? We're working that entire shoulder area and our back area too. Everything's kind of getting hit in that one move. Okay, next another really popular good one to even uh, get a nice uh, burn right in the center of the chest is a reverse grip pull down. So with this one, I usually go about shoulder width apart and we're just going to, once again, we're gonna carry the bar down with us. We're gonna get our nice straight back. Our palms are gonna be facing towards us. With this one, you could actually have just a very slight arch in your back. And you're just gonna think about pulling the bar down to your chest and you're gonna pinch those shoulder blades together. You're gonna to release, but you're not gonna go fully extend like you did with the other ones. You're gonna kind of keep a little bit of a bend in that. So you're gonna contract those shoulder blades and we're gonna release them. So always working to that full range of motion, pinching, holding, a little bit of an isometric hold, relax, bringing the bar back down and up. Really good one. Okay, last one we're gonna do is a one arm pull down. So let me get this off of here. Let's see if I, I'm not very good at these, but just sit with me for a second, everybody. Okay, so you're gonna to try to get this off here. Okay, and we're, now we're gonna get a D handle here. We're gonna hook that and we're gonna do a little bit of unilateral training. So just one side of the body. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna kind of bring this handle down with us and actually I'll go to the other side. So I'm not just looking at Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the D handle. We're going to keep our body fully isolated as we bring this down. We're gonna squeeze our lats as we pull this down. And I'm pulling, I'm keeping my head and chest up. I'm not letting my arm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the other side so you can see. So I'm bringing this here. I'm fully isolated 
And see how I'm just bringing that arm straight down, contracting my lat and up. Back down, squeezing at the bottom, releasing all the way up, full range of motion. And here. And squeeze, really getting that full contraction up and back down. My body's not shifting or moving in any way. And back up. All right, so three really great moves you can use on the lat pull down machine. So just be careful when you first start, don't go super heavy. Worry more about your body position, making sure you're getting full range of motion, thinking about the muscles you're using, and you'll have a great workout. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Make sure to go over and check out athletenxxforwomen.com, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll work out with you guys soon.